Dave, before we get to the judo gene bio, which I thought was uh, really great, uh, it looks like the old hit row, except for Squ- Swerve, uh, Swerve, showed up on SmackDown, which made me kind of wonder about this strategy that Triple H has so far, which is bringing back former NXT folks. Uh, I thought uh, the Dexter Loomis one was kind of a, a bit of a head scratcher. W- without Swerve, this one is a little bit of a head scratcher too. Like, what do you what do you think about his strategy so far? About you know, kind of just bringing back these surprises. Well, I mean, people want surprises. So if he's trying to move ratings, the idea that, hey, there could be a surprise every week, that's a good strategy. The problem is, is that you also have to, um, you know, it depends on, you know, how people perceive it. Right now, it's like people want newness from him. So it's okay. Um, But you have to figure out a way to use these people in the long run, too. And, you know, as long I mean, BFAB, they have to keep out of the ring, obviously. Um, um, you know, as far as AJ and Ashante, we'll see. Um, they were, you know, the act was good. I mean, Swerve was clearly the best worker of the three by far, but AJ was the one that, that they had the highest hopes for because, you know, he's six foot five and 320 pounds and he can, and he can move. He's a real athlete. So, um, you know, how he can do in a match and things like that, you know, and how they can get over. Um, I mean, they were looking like they were getting over before, uh, before they had their, you know, before they just kind of got dropped. So, um, I mean, I, 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 I can see, I see why he's doing it. Okay. Because right now that's what people want. But as, I mean, as far as long run, um, they're not a sure thing, but they're, you know, it's not like Loomis where I just go, Okay, he's going to get a little bit of a pop, and then you know he's thirty eight year old guy who isn't very good, and then what do you do? You know, um, but you know it's 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 not like a one move one move determines all. You know what I mean? It's like how everything fits in, and we're way 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 too early to to know. You know, and again, it's like it's not like there's these, you know, who 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 are the better options out there? I mean, the the guys that they cut that were worth something with the exception of maybe John Morrison, um, um, you know, as someone, you know, who's, 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 who's pretty good. I mean, most of them, you know, Tony signed. Yep. So he's going to get the ones that Tony didn't want, but he wants to bring new people in just to show, Hey, anything can happen on these shows and we can surprise you. And that's a good reason to watch. And, you know, for, for, you know, you can't do that forever though. That, that never, that won't work forever, but it can work now. And he's trying to work for now. So I understand that, you know, and I expect that we'll be getting we'll be getting anyone that he can come up with that could fit that, you know, thing of, hey, it's a surprise. We're going to get them, you know, show after show. I mean, obviously, the big one would be um, Naomi and Sasha Banks, whatever week that they want to bring them in, Mm -hmm. because aside from that, I mean, you're going to have, you know, the rest of the guys are going to be guys at that level, guys that were in NXT that got cut or you know, bringing in people from NXT, but they're not big surprises. But I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure there'll be a few people from NXT that he brings up as well over the next couple months. Yeah, I think those might be a little bit more impactful. But to me, without Swerve, who because uh, I was really high on their act, I never thought the act would make it to to the main roster because I didn't think that they would understand it. I thought it was really cutting edge. I thought it was awesome on NXT. But without Swerve, who's the main guy in that act, this comes across way more as Tony Nese than it does as uh, Adam Cole or something like that. Well, it's definitely not Adam Cole, um, but we'll see how it, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, you know, I don't want to judge how something's going to do until we see it for a few weeks on TV and, and everything. I mean, I thought the act had, the act had potential, um, but everyone's got every, you know, Everyone who's at a decent level has potential if they can kind of figure out the right way to use them. Um, but there's only, you know, you only have so many positions to be stars. I mean, you could have 100 guys on your roster and you can have 20 guys on your roster. You're still really only going to have a certain number of stars. I mean, which is a big mistake people make. Joe Silva and I used to always talk about that in UFC. 
when they would have like 50 guys on the roster, but you would have like 12 stars, right? Now you have 600 guys on the roster and you still have 12 stars because that's all the people that people are going to focus on. You know, you would think, oh, now we can have 100 stars. It's like, no, no one's going to care about 100 people except for the super hard course. And, you know, I mean, you're, just, you're not going to know who they are. You know, you, you, you're you going to have a finite number of stars. And that's the key to all these businesses is those stars um, being over and being able to move numbers. Yeah. You know, whether no matter how look, the bigger you make your roster, that doesn't give you more stars. Um, it doesn't necessarily water down the stars, but you've got to focus on, you know, those key stars and, and make them do things that people are intrigued by and want to pay money to see and want to watch on television. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.